Today we are going to learn two new uh, functions in Pensin that we can use to better uh, prepare our models. So I'm going to start uh, with this uh, presentation and I'm going to open Pensin for this, uh, for this uh, purpose. So I ask you to do uh, the same. Okay, so in, uh, for these two new functions, we are going to use the, this model. We are going to explain it uh, with a production system that it's based on its inventory. And its inventory increases as we have more production and it decreases as we have more sales. These uh, sales are going to be uh, uh, defined by the quantity of orders and new orders that we have. And these uh, sales are going to uh, define the expected demand and the production. We are going to calculate the production as an average of the last uh, eight weeks of sales. So we are going to take eight weeks of sales and we are going to average them. That is going to be my expected demand and the expected demand is going to be the amount of product that we are going to produce. Similarly to that, we are going to have uh, sales and we are going to say that we, we sell 1,000 products per week, but in uh, uh, beginning, in week number 10, we are going to have an increase in our sales of 100 units. So we're going to sell from week one to week 10, 1,000 units per week. And uh, starting in, in week 10, we are going to have 1,100 units. Okay, from week nine, one to, to through week nine, we're going to sell uh, 1,000. And uh, starting in week 10, so on, we are going to sell 1,100 units. That's the situation so that we are going to present. Okay, so first of all, we need to, to uh, define that, that uh, situations. So for that, we are going to define the different equations. And we are going to start with the auxiliary variables. So the weeks for the average, as I said, it's going to be eight weeks of sales. The new orders, and this is where I'm going to use a new function. I'm going to use the step function. I going to be defined as following. We are going to define that we are going to have a step of 100 units starting on time 10. So we're going to have a step of 100 beginning in time 10. That's the, the, the use of the step function. Okay. And orders, we are going to find it as 1,000, that it's the actual amount of products that we are say, uh, able to sell. And uh, we are going to add new orders. So from week one to week nine, we are going to just sell uh, 1,000 units. And from week 10 and so on, we are going to uh, buy, uh, sell 1,100 uh, 1, units. Okay. The sales are going to be the orders. And now, the new, the new function that we are going to have, it's the function smooth. This function is going to uh, allow us to calculate an average of the weeks that I'm going to uh, use. So I'm going to average the sales for eight weeks. And finally, going to be the expected demand.
And finally, I'm going to define how uh, the inventory behaves. And let's say that we have an initial value of 4,000 units. The rest is already programmed. It's uh, the production minus the sales with an initial value of 4,000. Okay, so we have our uh, model for this production system. We accumulate product by the production and the production is uh, the expected demands that it's calculated as an average of eight weeks of sales. That's why we, we define an auxiliary variable for the weeks for the average and that value is so we calculate this average and we uh, make it the production. And for the sales, we're selling uh, 1,000 units per week, actually. And starting on week uh, number 10, we are increasing our sales to for 100 more units. So we are say, uh, selling uh, uh, 1,100 units and that's why we use the step function so we have a, an increase of 100 units starting on week 10 okay so let's save this and i'm going to change the options excuse me, uh, change the settings, and we are going to just model it for 60 weeks. And the units are going to be weeks. And let's model this. And we're going to see how the inventory behaves. I choose the inventory, I see it's graphed. It decreases a little bit on week 10. Then let's see how the new orders behave. There were, there were uh, zero new orders and in week 10, we had 100 new orders. Now the orders, there were 1,000 until week nine and then they step uh, to 1100 uh, starting from week 10 until week 60. And the expected demand, that it's the other command that we already uh, programmed. We have 1000 and then increases to 1100. Okay. So this is how these uh, new, new functions uh, work and I hope that uh, you have learned it well. Okay, so see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye. Uh,